What if I told you the world's best airport isn't done winning yet? It's just getting started, and it's about to make everything else look outdated. Singapore's Changi Airport isn't content with being number one. It's tearing up the blueprint and rewriting what an airport can be. While most countries are still recovering from post-COVID travel chaos, Singapore is betting $7.5 billion on the future. Not just to expand, but to reimagine air travel for the next 50 years. This isn't just about bigger terminals or more flights. It's about building the airport equivalent of a time machine. Smarter, greener, safer, and years ahead of global competition. So, how do you build the airport of the future while still running one of the busiest in the world? Let's break it down. Let's start with the basic question. Why does Changji need to grow? Asia Pacific is about to become the epicenter of global air travel. According to the International Air Transport Association, air passenger traffic in this region is expected to double by 2043, reaching 4.5 billion annual passengers. That's nearly half of all global air traffic. Singapore, located right at the heart of this traffic flow, is perfectly positioned to be the key transit hub. But here's the problem. Changi Airport is already handling around 90 million passengers per year, and projections suggest demand could push that number to 140 million by the 2040s. Meanwhile, Regional rivals like Kuala Lumpur, Bangkok, and Seoul are rapidly upgrading their own infrastructure. So the Changi East development isn't just a nice-to-have. It's a survival strategy. Spanning over 1,080 hectares, land reclaimed from the sea, the project includes a brand new Terminal 5, a third runway, miles of underground tunnels, and a cargo and aerospace logistics hub. The goal? Make Changi future-proof and ensure Singapore remains an aviation heavyweight well into the 22nd century. At the center of all this is Terminal 5, the largest and most ambitious airport terminal Singapore has ever attempted. Once complete, T5 will handle up to 50 million passengers per year, with room to expand. That's nearly the size of Heathrow or JFK just in one terminal. Designed by world-renowned architecture firms Cone Peterson Fox and Heatherwick Studio, Terminal 5 is more than just a transit hub. It's designed to feel like a city within a city. The architecture reflects Singapore's garden city identity. Expect green spaces, daylight-filled interiors, and biophilic design that doesn't just look good. It reduces energy costs and calms overstimulated travelers. But it's not just beautiful. It's built for flexibility. Zones within the terminal are modular, meaning they can be repurposed depending on travel patterns, airline needs, or emergencies. This design thinking came directly from lessons learned during the COVID pandemic, when static airport layouts became liabilities. Smart features include biometric screening, contactless check-in, and an integrated app ecosystem that keeps passengers moving without friction. On the sustainability front, Terminal 5 will be equipped with solar panels, rainwater harvesting systems, and smart ventilation that adapts in real time to temperature and occupancy. And yes, air filtration and antimicrobial surfaces are now standard. The airport of the future has to be safe by design, not just secure. Terminal 5 might be the star of the show, but the supporting infrastructure is just as critical. First up, Runway 3. Extended to 4 kilometers, this new runway can accommodate the latest generation of wide-body aircraft, including the Airbus A350 and Boeing 777X. To keep everything moving efficiently, 40 kilometers of new taxiways will be added, essential for avoiding the kind of gridlock that plagues older airports. Then there's what's happening underground. A vast tunnel network will connect terminals, move baggage, and run utilities out of sight. This reduces surface congestion and increases safety by separating passenger operations from airport logistics. Finally, we have the Changi East Industrial Zone, a critical piece for cargo and maintenance operations. It will raise cargo handling capacity from 3 million to 5.4 million tons per year, 
helping Singapore maintain its status as a logistics powerhouse. It's also home to aerospace maintenance and engineering firms, creating a vertically integrated ecosystem right next to the passenger terminal. Let's talk numbers. The Changi East project is expected to cost around $7.5 billion. That funding comes from a mix of government investment, contributions from the Changi Airport Group, and fees collected from airlines. Construction officially began in May 2025, after several delays due to the pandemic forced a comprehensive redesign. Those delays weren't wasted, though. They gave planners time to build in more resilience, especially around public health. The entire project, including Terminal 5, is set to be completed by the mid-2030s. That may sound far away, but given the scale and complexity, it's an aggressive timeline. Of course, not everything is smooth sailing. The first major challenge is environmental. Land reclamation has long been controversial in Southeast Asia due to its impact on marine ecosystems. Singapore insists it is using impact-minimized techniques and will restore nearby habitats, but skepticism remains. Second is engineering complexity. Building anything on reclaimed land requires massive foundational work. You're dealing with soft soils, settlement risk, and water management issues. Third is economic uncertainty. While travel has rebounded strongly in Asia, global demand could be volatile. A new pandemic, economic downturn, or geopolitical event could upend forecasts. Committing billions now is a bold move and a risky one. So, with all the risks, why push forward? Because the upside is enormous. The expansion is expected to create tens of thousands of jobs in construction, logistics, aviation, and tourism. It's also a magnet for foreign investment and talent. Singapore's reputation as a reliable, efficient hub makes it attractive to global airlines and corporations looking to base their regional operations. And from an aviation perspective, Terminal 5 sets a global benchmark, not just for scale or speed, but for its integration of sustainability, safety, and technology. Where most airports struggle to upgrade without disruption, Changi is building a whole new future from scratch. Terminal 5 isn't just a terminal, it's a bet. A bet that people will keep flying, that Singapore will remain a critical node in global logistics, and that smarter infrastructure pays off in the long run. While the rest of the world plays catch up, Singapore is busy designing airports that still make sense in 2080. So the question isn't if others will follow, it's how soon they can catch up. What do you think? Should more airports be thinking like Changi? Drop your thoughts in the comments. What would you want your airport to look like in 20 years? If you found this breakdown interesting, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the infrastructure shaping our world.